We're talking you and I track and field, and we're talking a Missouri Valley Conference outdoor team title for the men. It's the men's third in the row, a first triple since 2007, 8, and 9. Coach Paulson, uh, you had a fantastic outing from your guys as you went in banged up. You said the formula was going to be a little bit different, and it was. Yeah, we uh, took advantage of every opportunity we had to just pick up points all over the place. Um, you know, going into the final day ahead by 30 points really gives you a sense of uh, not security necessarily, but you have the ability to, to lose a little bit on the final day, but we never even did that, and they, they really closed the deal out strong. You talk about uh, getting some points in areas you wanted. The decathlon was a spot you thought maybe four guys could finish top eight. You went first, second, third, and fourth. A great two days for some young guys. Yeah, all four of those guys are freshmen, and so that is uh, great news for us, and uh, couldn't be more proud of those guys. You know, we thought we could get four guys to score in the deck, uh, but to go one through four, 29 points, that's just something that uh, doesn't really happen a whole lot, so we, we definitely were happy to take those points. Zach Butcher led the way with the decathlon title and seeing three guys up on the podium kind of fun seeing them finish that final 1500 all together as well yeah they had it in the bag we knew we just had to finish it off and, and those guys just kind of ran together and they crossed the finish line all together and so that was kind of fun and then you know we got a lot of pictures the first through three guys are on the podium but definitely all four of those guys um, helped impact our team championship in a huge way Dan O'Mara had your throwers primed, ready to go. Darius King won the shot put, was named most outstanding field athlete, scoring in a number of events. And Tom Isak won the discus. Those two guys kind of leading the way for you. Yeah, the throwers, again, Coach O'Mara got it done with those guys. Um, we got a lot of points in the javelin, too, which was a, a, an event that we haven't traditionally scored a lot in. So to have three guys finish in the top eight, uh, Darius was all conference there finishing third, uh, three guys scoring in the shot put, and three guys in the discus, and then uh, three guys in the hammer. So when you have that kind of depth, uh, it's it's terrific because if, if someone has an off day, you can count on someone else to kind of pick it up, but none of them had an off day. And so, again, we maximized our opportunities there, and it was a great, uh, great showing from the throwers once again. Other field event points, uh, you had Jack Sumner's Parker Kiewit go second and third in the long jump to help set you guys up for that uh, that Sunday finals day. Yeah, that was a great way to end day two. We had those guys going two, three, that's 14 points. Uh, coming in, I think only Parker was in scoring position and Jack put together a really nice jump in his sixth and final jump uh, to move him up into, into second. And Parker was right there at third. And so to end that day heading into the finals, uh, with 14 points definitely gave us a lot of momentum. On the women's team, Alina Marcusi getting the double title winning the long jump and the 100 meter hurdles a great outdoor championships for her oh fantastic and the long jump was great she won it on her sixth round she was in second place going in uh, into the finals which means you're second to last in the jumping order and so for her to put that big mark out there um, take the lead with one jump to go for the leader uh, that was terrific and then she just backed it up in the hurdles uh, ran a really clean race uh, and, and found a way to get 20 points for the women's team it's you and I's first women's long jump title since Diana Leftridge, a UNI Hall of Famer, by the way. Uh, in the sprints, uh, the short sprints, you had a number of guys on the men's side in both the 100 and the 200 finals. Yeah, they found a way to get it done. We came in a little bit uh, dinged up and people not feeling the best and, and guys that hadn't run a lot of, a lot of races. Isaiah Trousel, uh, he had a no time in the 100 coming in. He moved all the way up and got second place. Um, Tayshawn Cooper uh, did a terrific job. He was a little bit banged up, found a way to make that 200 final um, as well. So and Parker Kiewit, who has been a multi-event athlete for us all year, uh, we thought we needed him in a different area. And so we moved him from the decathlon since we had four guys. We felt pretty confident there, put him in the short sprints. He found uh, the way to make the 100 and the 200 final as well as the long jump final. So terrific job by those guys. One of a number of young athletes that really stepped up and performed really well for the UNI uh, throughout the outdoor championships. We'll have more with Coach Paulson coming up right after this. And we'll also take a look at the UNI softball awards handed out before the conference tournament.